Hello and welcome to the Nerd Cave Remote Technical Support video channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Microsoft account and how to start using the free Microsoft products online, specifically Microsoft Office. Uh, they do have a free online version available for those of you who do have a Microsoft account. So to get started we'll need to create a Microsoft account. I'm going to use Microsoft Edge and uh, we're going to navigate to the Microsoft site. I'm going to create a new email for myself, so I'm going to click the Create One link down here. See what's available. And create a password for it. I don't want any information at this time. I've plugged in my uh, region and my birth date, so I'll go ahead and continue. And they want to verify I'm a human being, so hopefully that's correct. And there we go. I have a new Microsoft account. I'm going to open a new tab, go to office.com. I need to sign in. Okay, we'll stick with the regular Office Online. That's my current plan. I get 5 gigabytes of OneDrive storage plus access to Office Online apps. That's my current plan. Not ready to buy? Get started with Office for free on the web. Work together with others in the same document in real time. That's interesting. Securely store and share files from anywhere with OneDrive. Let's get started with office.com, okay. Okay, so this is the AMP launcher right here. Well, this is nice. It's almost identical to Word, actually. Let's upload a document. There's a Word sample. I'll go ahead and open that. You know, this document contains malformed hyperlink URIs. Editing this document will cause the hyper hyperlinks to be removed. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so they're talking about these things here. But uh, it looks uh, in perfect shape. There's OneDrive. Let's see what's in there. Welcome to your OneDrive account. When you put your files and photos in OneDrive, they are always at your fingertips no matter where you are or which drive you're looking at. Relive your best moments with albums and organize themselves, object tagging, etc. Work together. Your files are private until you decide to collaborate. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is a personal account. They're suggesting I upgrade, which I don't want to do right now. I'll stick with my little 5 gigabyte plan. Documents just now. I should have my sample document. There it is. Okay. Go ahead and click that and see what it does. It should just take me to Word Online. Yeah, it does. All right. Um, I think download this as a PDF. Let's check that out. I'll just open it for now. There it is. With all the charts and graphics. This is actually pretty handy. Let's check out um, 
Excel. That's the other one I like to use. Upload a workbook. Financial sample. And there that is. That's in good shape. See if I can stretch this out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. See if we can download that as a PDF as well. Uh, no. Open document file, really? Let's see. I'm going to save it. Open folder. Okay, so this is just the one I just created. And LibreOffice is what I want to open that with. Okay, great. So this is open in LibreOffice, and from here, um, even though Microsoft Online didn't allow me to download it as a PDF, I can down I can create a PDF from LibreOffice if I have that installed. And if you saw my previous videos um, about app free applications, uh, LibreOffice is free to download and use, so you can search for that online and use that. Um, and it has a lot of excellent features. Um, it is a free Office productivity program, so I suggest you check it out. Looks like uh, Excel and Word Online are great, as far as I can tell. Um, that is how you access them. You will need a Microsoft uh, Outlook account in order to access these features. But uh, if you need access to Word, and uh, you really don't want to have to buy it. Uh, if, as long as you have an account, you can, you can use it online. Now if we go back to Office.com, um, we have just about almost every... A program that's available in Microsoft Office is available here for you to use. Uh, PowerPoint, OneNote. Um, PowerPoint is the one I use the least. I never use OneNote. Um, Excel and Word are ones I use the most, and I also use Outlook fairly frequently since I have an Outlook email address. Um, I tend to use that online. But I think this is great if you need access to the Microsoft Office apps. Yeah, just create yourself a Microsoft account and you can get access to all these for free. As long as you don't need access to advanced features like macros and Visual Basic uh, for Office, uh, you'll probably be fine. That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Click subscribe if you want to see more. Also, make sure you check out the website, www.the-nerdcave.com, and tell your friends about me. I'd love to hear from them. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.